Hey everybody, welcome back. We had some we had some positive runs in the last one. We had some mixed runs. Otherwise pretty solid though. I think this team is good too. Let me be like a like a like a like an uncertain bush. We'll just leave it at that, I guess. <laughs> I was hoping to not see moths. You got me on that one. Moth is a I mean it's a great unit on turn one. And also every subsequent turn. But I'm going full two threes as the crow flies here. Um, I guess I would rather combine you for now. Because I, I really do... I have a hypothesis for this week. And our, my hypothesis has borne out on some runs. As boring as it is, the key to this week really seems to be... Well, like, I hate to say it. To some extent, it seems to be your shops. So... How do you juice your shops to make them better than your opponents? You get levels up at exactly the right time to get levels up, which is why I was prioritizing this pair here. But Now, that's just a great unit. And to get two of them is, is even better, honestly. I actually think I would, I would sell, sell. And I know you're, you're looking at this and going, what is, what is this idiot doing? But, like, by having... I think two oxes can run for a while, and then we'll combine them, hopefully, into a level two, and then we'll be looking for something on, on turn five. Maybe. Maybe. You never know. Right now, I'm feeling... I'm feeling like this is the draw of the century. I have zero wins, but it's only round three. I'm not going to cry yet. Hey, here's another level, potentially incoming. And then freeze you for a second. Just see... Oops. <laughs> There's another level. Now, this is where instead of a dragon... Like, a dragonfly would be fine. I would not cry. But I would really be rooting for a bison here. If we could get a bison... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're already off to the races. We could even fit, like, a second bison. If we got it early enough. So why not give me this, give me this. Hippo also seems incredible, of course. Hippo does not have a faint trigger. I think it's probably time to dump the possum. I guess we don't need to. Tier fours, tier threes, and four. honestly, this will buff our oxes too. I think you you combine your oxes, place a hippo down. I think we sort of like run you up at the front to just take out whatever their biggest unit is. We're, we're still not going possum. But if I could get another tier three next turn, or or another tier four, if we were able to get like a level up, this lettuce becomes highly effective. And it's the kind of thing you you like buy the lettuce early, you forget how good it was for you when you get to ten. You're like, how did I get to? How did I win all those rounds so narrowly? Then you're like, oh man, you should go, go check the tape. It was the lettuce. When there was one set of footsteps, that's when the lettuce was carrying you. I'll just buy like that though for now. And this changes nothing. I would sell our, our possum to add a, a, a good unit. Or even maybe just to get a level up. I would actually... like. We know the possum is not long for this world. Let's sell to just buy a, a penguin. And I, I don't really think that's the sort of thing that transforms your game. But extra stats now maybe equals extra wins now. Maybe equals we win more games. E equals we don't have to fight someone in a phone booth with knives for hands when we hit, like, turn 27 and everybody's squad is 50-50s. Feeling like a genius. Feeling like we made good decisions. That's what it's all about. Sell me. Buy me. You're just a nice scaler right now. Um, we want to make sure the hippo always gets the buffs. We would like the, the, we'd like the hippo to have even more buffs. So the ox needs to level. Ooh. <laughs> Is it too... I gotta think about this. Is it too... late to put this much hope in a bison? I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. What I do know is that I'm very thankful I kept my ox. Just stay on target here. You, you come out as a 4-4, four, four, I just don't think it's good enough. Nah. Nah. This round... 
it, it would be nice if we got good stuff this round. But next round is really where we... That's such a good get for us, man. Holy cow. Next round is really where we had put up or shut up territory. Now, why freeze a zebra here? Well, with a donut on our hippo, it's guaranteed 4-4 four, four for two gold. I mean, you, you can't coach that. Oh, you're going to kill my freaking hippo, you piece. But then my ox is going to kill your freaking capybara. Oh, this is great. <laughs> so I think it's worth combining the dragonflies, despite the perceived opportunity cost. Very nice. Extremely nice. Sell it, and then you... Oh, you know what? Let's just put it on top for now. When we sell the zebra, the hippo will get the 2-2 again. We don't have to sell it on this turn. It'd be probably nicer to keep a 3-5 on our squad this turn, even if we don't expect it to make that big of a difference. And the, the new... Like, there's no garlic, there's no lemon. So what's the, the win condition I'm rooting for here? Level 2 hippo that basically regenerates enough HP to have trade efficiently. Sorry to put it in the nerdiest way possible, but... I think it's, it is the way. And I'll tell you, we, we should sell a zebra and then roll like almost any other tier one. But in this case, we're very lucky that it's a penguin because it'll help us scale our hippo. And, and why would we do it like this? Well, we're not gonna like, admittedly, sure. Could we get two chocolates on a zebra and then just start buying waffles on our zebra? Yeah, but I think that it's very like, it's not cost prohibitive, but it's very expensive. It's a very well-constructed team, by the way. Got to give you some credit for that one. Congratulations. I think that just having uh, another scaler out here is going to hit the spot, especially because we know it's guaranteed to hit our penguin. Or, sorry, hit our hippo. But now I'm also looking at it, and I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> Go ahead. Our... our Dragonfly is once again like semi-useless. I know what you're saying, by the way. You were probably like, why not put a donut on an ox? Well, I don't want the donut on the ox to override the potential donut on our hippo. And oh no, I've got cross donutification. And it, this is, how is your team so, sta is this all, it's all dragonfly in cans? That's, that's amazing. It's incredible. I think we have to try this now. Like, you're just not getting it done in the front slot here. And it's probably time in that case to dump the ox. It's no longer doing anything efficiently for us. I'm sorry to say. You take some equipment. Take some extra attack. It's, it just feels good to buy whether it is or it isn't. And maybe if we lose this one, we'll be happy that we've got a donut that we can overwrite with a melon to give our hippo a chance to really get started. Don't, don't hit the octopus. Thank you! That's basic. You got scammed. I'm so sorry for you, but so happy for me. <laughs> okay. Thank God. You should take this at this point. You, you've gotten enough stats. You're going to get more. Whatever you get, you'll be happy with, okay? I don't think a B is going to make a huge difference right now. I, I think that the monkey for scaling and we can always move units around is, is probably the most important. I mean, you've seen this run a, a thousand times before. I think that the, if the hippo three for ones, we probably win. My stats? <laughs> if it two for ones, we win, but it's a little tighter for sure, a little tighter. I appreciate the chili pepper support. I would add a penguin. I think it's a little late for a carrot. I don't think it's too late for a tomato. And if, if we have to run two tomatoes, then... I mean, at this point, we're not going to, like, run straight through the, the finish line and be like, we just want a gold medal. We might be pulling ourselves across, you know, like, on our hands and knees. But... Actually, this was a... This couldn't have gone better. Maybe we are going to still be upright by the time we cross through the finish line. You take one of these. Let's buy this and then pray for chocolate. New chocolate. Um, should probably run it like this now. It's, it's the principle of the thing. I really don't think the chili pepper is going to make a, a big difference, but three gold, nine wins, two lives left. It's, you know, you start to... 
Some desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh my god, did we did we do something? Did we do something a little slick with it? There's a time to build your stack. There's a time to make smart bets. There's a time to go all in. I think we we nailed at least the, the latter two. Basically by getting a hippo in the shop. <laughs> it's not that skillful, I guess. Hey, hey, hey. Are you forgetting when we gave the hippo a donut? Mm, are you forgetting that part? Okay, we lose round one. All the small nuts. <laughs> she left me roses by the stairs. Very fitting song today, Valentine's Day, of course. Happy Valentine's Day. I was waiting for you to say it. I'm gonna buy this just because the stat up from the fish is nice if you can get it, but we're doesn't seem like we're gonna get it. I'm just, I'm, I don't think we're gonna win this round. I'm just very excited that we will have full HP for round three. It's a good staging ground. Okay, are we done? Can we, can we play the game now? This was not unexpected. My teams have not been well set up in the early game. But now, now they can really get messed up. I simply don't think Aardvark is good this week. So my next contingency would be a Storka. Level me. Clownfish um, didn't come. It doesn't matter. It couldn't have come at a worse time. But you know what? It's still... It gives us scaling potential. Don't be tricked! I know it looks like the Clownfish is not really a scaler, but it's, it's a scaler. It just all the scaling comes in a discrete burst. This is a big loss. And these are just stronger units. I'm not sure if you noticed that. Um, I'm basically just gonna... I'm just gonna let you know. I don't believe in the power of a sea turtle. But... It's possible... If we got enough of them... Let's run two storks here. If we got enough of them, and if, uh, if we got them leveled up, and then maybe we got a turkey, maybe we got a chicken or something like that, we could become the scumbag summon build. And that would feel nice. Now, don't let this trick you into thinking that this team is great, because we're just going up against five, like, default stat fish. That's just, I don't know, it's designed to get your hopes up. <laughs> um, I don't really want to do capybara for the pivot, though. I think it's good. What, what reasoning could you possibly have for that? It's a great point. It's a great point. Give me a level two. Doberman. I think we can make Doberman work. We have to learn a lesson, though. All right, we, at the very least, we'll try to make Doberman work. And the lesson we have to learn from the Doberman, I think, is you don't do your pivot early. It always feels nice to beat a team that just beat you, by the way. You don't do, or you could have it out and just be a 4 5 for now. And that's okay. And this is nice too. It might even give us another Doberman. It didn't. Skunk is pretty good though. Um, if we're going to pivot, we need to wait until tier fives show up in the shop. That way we can, we can actually pivot like into the coconut armor instead of like into oblivion. Pretty, pretty horrendous start there. We were, we we're only off by two base clownfish, which is not a ton, but... Okay, I really like this. I don't think we want more clownfish, because the clownfish is going to get sold. It's, it's time to start, like, unwinding, I think. Now, this is crazy. The double can is to set up the pivots when we get the... When we commit to the Doberman. Our only dream right now is to have a reasonably high amount of HP remaining when we do the pivot so that we have a little bit of built-in tolerance to get the Doberman going. Because the pivot might be a little messy. I don't buy the lettuce that much. Nothing, huh? This would give us a level which would give us a tier 5. But if we wait a turn and then buy it, we could just get a tier 6. And it doesn't really matter, like... Like, there's no real reason it's better to... I guess it could be... Well, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter that much. Let's just hope we win through this one. 
Give me the tier 6 instead. There was some pain involved on that one. We're going to have two life. It's honestly like more than I deserve. <laughs> Here we go. Buy me. Sell me. Ostrich me. Now, you need tier 5 pets or higher in the shop. This is a big get. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. And then move you up. Sell me. Sell me. Freeze me. Roll me. No other tier 5s in the shop. I think you would still rather just have a fly because it's an 8-8 that also summons other units. I, I, I hate to put it here. Oh, we get one more roll too. We still get no buffs. Um, I, I put it there because I'm worried our opponents will have a crocodile. I'm making a bet that the crocodile is that ubiquitous. I could be wrong. I was wrong. That skunk is a, is a hater. I'm just gonna say it, that's, that's a hater skunk. And yet, we squeeze through the first round after the pivot. It's sir, we got a long way to go. Of course I'm thinking what you're thinking. You don't even have to ask, okay? I guess at this point, you're basically just praying your opponent doesn't have a crocodile, which is fine. We should freeze you. You should definitely still stat up, and you should... I mean, that's a huge lettuce. We only get 1-1 one, one buff on the ostrich. <laughs> that's embarrassing. But we, have a, we do have a 26-29 Doberman with coconut armor. And then the... Don't even get me started on the turkey fly here, which is just like the ultimate scumbag setup. The ostrich could even go... And we could run something else out here. But it has to be... Well, is a crocodile good enough? No, we need another scaler. Oh, freeze the fox, dude. You can have a tomato. Freeze it. Okay, a bunch of tier sixes. You know what I think you do? I mean... There is a part of me that thinks... Even though we did this in order to scale the ostrich here, well, it is scaling well. I'm thinking you could maybe unwind turkey fly or ostrich in order to run like a pineapple lobster. And we're, I'm feeling great right now, to be honest. Like, I'm not, we got a very limited amount of mistakes we can make on the way up. I feel like my ostrich is actually just going to get there. So I'm going to freeze you, freeze you. I'm basically looking for chocolate before I unwind. Thank you so much. That's very nice of you. And then we'll sell turkey first. Buy me. Buy me to keep the ostrich scaling a little bit better. Unfreeze me. Unfreeze me. And I don't know if maybe you belong up there now. We'll have a level 2 ostrich. We want to give it a pineapple. You could possibly run Ostrich at the front to get the buff from the monkey, but the Doberman's doing great with it right now as is. Okay, it's a very nasty walrus. That, that is what that is. You got me on that one? We're not going to be able to punch through this one, and that's okay. Like, you know, lesson learned. We weren't... I, I, listen, our build matches up very poorly with this one. We were not that far off, though. Oh, hang on. Just waving hello. Um, it's very nice. It's very nice. And then I do think, at this point, you dump the fly. Crazy as it sounds. I think you, you maybe talk about building a, a boar here. Now, what the heck gets unfrozen? <laughs> there you go. Um, probably we move it like... Probably we move it like this now. I don't know. Like this, I, I'm worried that maybe this team looks better than it is. But I think it looks pretty freaking good. It's a scary looking team in and of itself. However, however, okay, that takes us to seven. 
really feel like we want the octopus to get to level three if, and the boar to level up too, but we only have a limited amount of gold. It is tempting to send you up there, but here's the thing is like, oh, why would I reroll that without paying attention to my ostrich? Oh, oh, oh. It, it does seem like um, the Doberman at the front, I mean, it's coconut armor. It's unbeatable. Unless we, the enemy has a woodpecker, but it's pretty late in the game for that. They got their own coconut armor. And they ran it in position two. They're me, but better in every single way. <laughs> All right, still, it was a fun pivot. Yeah, we could squeeze one more out of this one for sure. I had fun using some animals we don't normally use. I think that's what the, the real strength of... Oh, 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 oh. Mm, maybe like a sour tea bag or something. Um, it's the real strength of the Doberman. It can be very good, but also it, it forces you to play a different style. And round one, listen, I mean, we, we played the shops we got, man. We played the shops we got. This is a better setup. And we do have a level. That's the most important thing. And then maybe even freezing the beetles for another level. I don't know. Imagine we could have frozen the Beatles. I wish, man. Music would never have been the same. Except when we unfroze them, that it would have been very similar to how it was in the 60s. But I can only assume. I'm going to... I want to get some wins. Let's be smart. You don't have to immediately... Yeah, this is fine. And actually, you're, you know what? Sell me. Sell me. Because you're just, you're never getting like better than you are right now. Take me back up to nine gold. And then give me like a quick broccoli on you just to make you a little tankier. And, and now we got the beetles ready to like level up. You, you know my strat to get to 10. It's the well-timed, at least I hope they're well-timed, levels up that then allow you to theoretically, get an early scaler, like two turns earlier than you normally would, and then use that slight pace advantage to, to get ahead of the competition. Now, like this, you get sold and you get bought. We can combine you next turn. I mean, I give you some bacon on an ox. I don't, I don't know the, the future of the ox necessarily, but a four, actually, it's going to be like a five, six. Well, it, once you shake out all the debuffs, maybe not, but still. It's going to be a 5-5. Five, five. That's a pretty solid unit to have until, like, you know, round 5, round 6. I think that's something we can, we can build into, but not around. Level. We don't have a level 3. Interesting. I almost think that we are looking at a summon build. And I, I, I froze the bison just in case we got another moth in there. I think by the time the next moth shows up, it's possible that we'll be past its like, you know, best before date, but we're almost building into a team that could become a summon team later. That's a very early rooster that admittedly is getting no scaling. I'm not sold on the giraffe necessarily right here. I would pass. Rooster, ox, get a buff from this. Not, not that into a sheep. That, that really shoehorns us into the, the summon build. We're hoping to get a level next turn. And if that level could give us a turkey, then that would really like codify where we're going on this one. Is it codify or, or codify? <laughs> I'd hate to sound stupid in a YouTube video. It's, it's, it's not the norm for me. Just kidding. Okay. Deserved loss. No level. It's a tough one. Potential level next turn. But it definitely feels like we're playing from behind. I'm going to forego the hippo because we already had it in this, in this video. A zebra... Most of what the zebra does for me here is make me long for um, 
a frozen bison. Because I think that that might, in hindsight, with the benefit of, of future information, that might have been the best thing for us. That being said, all is not lost yet. No, no, there's all there's one here. Thank you to the three two starfish for that. Um, but we need to get the scaling going, and this is how it goes. I honestly would rather sell a beetle, buy a zebra, sell a zebra, dragonfly comes out. I would love for you to, to hit level two so you're guaranteed to get scaled. You know what? <laughs> it's... It's your time to go. And it's not going to... Oh, but it's going to slow us down so much. Because you're going to be like 8, 9. Okay, I hate to do it. It's your time to go. But you get so much better than the ox later. At least you're guaranteed to do some scaling, though. And I was looking for a donut. When did donuts show up? Tier 4. So it's just kind of like an unfortunate roll. But that's okay. Um, I would roll here. You're a tier four, you're a tier four. We're about to get, you're a tier four. We're about to get tier five. So the lettuce is about to deprecate. I think our scaling is a little bit too slow. What I want to do, I want to have donut on, it's tough. Cause I think it's probably most efficient on a, on a bison, but it might do um, more for us on a chicken if we end up going to the summon build. But that's what makes the game so interesting, right? Somehow we we squeak by there and anytime you make a pivot and you you win the pivot you feel good about yourself. We would love you to hit level two. That's actually pretty important, I think. So you're guaranteed a buff now. And then either the chicken or the rooster will get a buff. Either one is probably pretty good. And then two levels here. I, I think with the two levels. Again, it's tough. <laughs> Dragonfly is like the the obvious first choice, but is it is it actually the obvious choice? Or do you go bison? Holy cow, we made it. And the bison will probably get you to like 50-50 a lot faster as a result. Or do you go chicken now? Maybe you go chicken now and you lean into a potential summon build. I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. I'm going to start here. And then if we, it's still an easy shop for us to handle. If we get another chocolate, we know exactly where it's going. We would, at this point, probably like to use the donut. But it's three gold. Nah, man. I was going to say to make sure that our bison always gets the buff instead of the, the ox. But if I had to peg the value of that, me personally, I'm saying that's worth 2.7 gold. I'm not spending three gold on that. That's a ripoff. It's a scam. You got quite the strong units here. And you know what? We just eke ourselves just barely over the top. This has been a very close call so far. Carrot goes crazy. You should still have this. You should level still. Then we're going to miss out on a 1-1 buff from... You know what? We get a tier 6. No, I, maybe you lean into the dragonfly. No, because you're going to get it eventually. You might as well. Okay. Then... You come to the front just because no unit has really hit critical mass yet. And I don't know. I No, no, no. Roll for better shop units. Mar food, as they call it. Shop units. I'm just... For right now, I'm worried no unit is strong enough to really compete with the big hippos and stuff like that. And actually, the prevalence of hippo in the pack means we... Son of a... <laughs> Come on! It's got too much efficiency, man. That was close. I, I think our order screwed us on that one. I think we got to bite the bullet. And if the enemy has scorpions, they got scorpions. We put Big Boy up in the front. Um, we put a chicken with a melon right behind that. Now, making a judgment call. Just take it. And what's the judgment call? I'm keeping this carrot on you at least a little while longer. That's the judgment call. I should sell the ox and buy a monkey. Even though the ox, it, it, it's time to get ourselves off the, the teat of the ox. 
I'm going to say that went badly. Wait a minute, though. Did it? Did it go that bad? Oh, if I had placed, no, it might not have made a difference at all. Okay. Bad handling of the shop there. We should, I think. We should sell you and try to go a little crazy. Like ba basically try to cheese a win and hope that you don't run into too many people that are, that are running their own scorpions. It sounds right to me. If it sounds right to me, maybe it is right. We're not going big scorpion. We're just going well-placed scorpion. It is kind of going to inherit a useless moth buff. Yeah, it, it's the, the melon blew us out. Oh, man. Did it ever. <laughs> I think we were doing well there until we, we lost the plot as, as things got really spicy. But I'll take six. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. helps it a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And I'll see you next time. See ya!